Hello and welcome to KSR Data Vision. Today's video, we would be going to cover all the insights related to Microsoft Fabric. Many people might already know what is Microsoft Fabric, how it behaves. You might have have basic idea about Fabric, but we have got many requests related to the components which are used in Fabric, how we can answer the questions related to Fabric if asked in the interviews. So this video, we would be going to cover all that basic idea, basic terminologies behind the Fabric and its sub components which are present in the fabric so this will give you a brief high level insights that what exactly fabric is what all components are present and most probably we this video would be going to cover all the components related to a power bi point of perspective when a power bi developer wants to use any fabric related services so what all services are there how we can correlate all these services with the existing fabric or existing azure environment so how these components are so we are going to cover all these um, including how the licensing plays an important role in the fabric so we will first start with the basic introduction of fabric um, many people might already know it but just to give you a brief high level insights what exactly the fabric is how the information is so if you try to understand fabric is nothing but a component uh, a kind of uh, application it's a software as a service application now what basically software as a service is it is nothing but a medium which will give you multiple services which will have an access to multiple services clubbed under one single environment now you can call it as a array also now in simple terminologies what array is array is a list of values similarly fabric is list of services it's a list of services used by Power BI developers, it can be a Power BI developers, most specifically Power BI dev people, as well as some data engineering folks also. I mean, Fabric is not only used by the Power BI developers or data analysts, it can be used by data engineers, it can be used by data scientists as well. Right? So we have all these services which are basically used by the analysts, the data analysts, data engineers, as well as data scientists present in this fabric. So in simple terms, it is called as an array of services, which is list of multiple services clubbed together. Now coming down, what this list of services contains, how the fabric works is basically fabric has different licensings present in it. I mean, what all licensing, what all options we get in fabric is if we need to understand first power bi licensing uh, in order to directly jump to the fabric we need to first understand what do you mean by power bi license so in power bi licensing we have pro we have premium per user and we have premium per capacity so there are three different licenses present in power bi uh, as a service so if you try to consider all these separate separate licensing power bi premium per capacity includes fabric as well as power bi in it now fabric is a list of all other services there are multiple services we will we will be going through all that components all that services present in the fabric but just to give you an idea about licensing premium per capacity the power bi premium per capacity includes fabric as well as power bi license so basically it charges 4995 dollars per user per i mean it, it's not per user but it is related to per capacity rather so per capacity means it can be set of people a bulk people can be allocated a bulk people can be added to this premium per capacity now coming down to premium per user it is nothing but a premium option given to a single individual user so premium per user it used to cost 20 dollars now starting july 2025 after a long decade that means almost a decade of power bi introduction way back in 2015 until today there weren't any changes there wasn't any increase in charges so from july 2025 it would charge you 24 dollars per user per month so in case of premium per user we only get power bi options I mean, we don't get fabric option in the premium per user. Whereas if you go with pro license, similarly pro license used to cost $10 per user per month, right? So now going forward from July, 2025, this is, we are also covering the latest update that from July, 2025, it would be $14 per user per month. So that that's how the changes happened. But even with pro, we only get power BI services, not all the options available with fabric i mean usually in fabric we have multiple other options but in case of pro and in case of premium per user we only get power bi services or power bi options 
whereas premium per capacity it comes with fabric as well as power bi embedded in it now fabric means it includes the fabric components multiple components as well as the power bi reporting part now these i mean these are the basic licenses related to the power bi and if you want to go with fabric we have to go with premium per capacity now along with this fabric also comes with the skus option now skus is nothing but i mean this fabric skus is part and parcel of i mean you need to use the azure portal from where you need to activate the fabric skus what amount of skus you want to use and depending on that the pricing would vary now what do you mean by fabric skus skus in simple terms it is nothing but a stock keeping unit now what do you mean by stock keeping unit see basically two licenses are there one is premium per capacity which will default come but it is very costly now then if you don't want to utilize that much amount of capacity then you can go with the fabric skus which you have to uh, purchase it from the azure portal now skus it's nothing but the stock keeping unit now in simple terms if you want to compare stock keeping unit is nothing but like your warehouse or a godown so if you have a warehouse or a godown now you want to store some information you want to dump some information in that more the size of the warehouse more the size of the go down more would be the charges more would be the rent for it similarly more the number of skus more would be the charging for fabric so that's how the fabric skus licensing work it has to be purchased from the azure portal now let me show you that option as well so if you try to visit the azure portal in now inside this azure portal uh we have a service called as microsoft fabric now for you people this icon would not be directly available maybe you have to go back and search fabric here now once you search fabric you would get that microsoft fabric option so you can click here i would not recommend to create fabric but just if you click on create and if you scroll down you have an option called as size now this size i mean you want to create fabric without using fabric premium per capacity that is power bi premium per capacity license you have to create it via azure portal this is the option which you get so here in size we have multiple options now if you see here the skus smaller the skus smaller would be the capacity unit and less would be the amount now these all charges are with respect to indian perspective from the indian geographical location uh, the charges would vary as per the currency as per the geographical location from where you have logged in and where you are trying to create this fabric so if you see uh, it starts with f2 and the latest option the most feasible and the highest option which is available is f2048 which is somewhere around 24 more than uh, what is not sufficient i mean it is more than sufficient uh, where a user can dump 2048 capacity units which is the highest units which is available inside this fabric as of now now how these uh, fabric skus varies so if you try to consider uh, let me share you a brief highlight also now if you try to consider fabric skus see in case of fabric skus if you try to understand it f2 comes with capacity units 2 and the cores now i need not explain what exactly the core is core is nothing but uh, if you try to compare with your desktop or laptop uh, or maybe even your mobile devices more the number of cores more would be the faster processing so if you go with f2 it comes with less than one core which is ideally the 1/4 of that one core uh, which is 0.25 F4 comes with half core which is 0.5 F8 comes with one and so on so more the skus more would be the number of cores and more would be the capacity units now one thing which is important here is if you want to create only fabric and you did not use power bi power bi is a separate service okay if you want to integrate power bi as well as fabric together it has to be premium per capacity or else you have to have minimum f128 license this f128 license comes with power bi as well as the other fabric components if you try to create from f2 to f64 see uh, there is an option called as trial here now we have kept an option called as trial now what does this trial option means trial option is nothing but up till f64 it only comes with fabric components it is not included with power bi in it so power bi is not a part of any fabric sku which is until f64 if you want to use power bi as well as the other other fabric components you have to go with minimum f128 license which comes with 16 cores 
and 128 capacity units and so on you can uh, depending on the usage you can increase so again if i go back to the azure portal f128 would somewhere around cost you 15 lakhs uh, the indian rupees so it would be somewhere around 1 million more than 1 million 1.5 million so that's how the pricing varies that's how the exact pricing varies so 128 f128 is where you get fabric as well as the power bi embedded in it prior to that only fabric components are present like you have data factory like your warehouses lake houses so we would be discussing all these components but until f64 all only fabric components are present except power bi service power bi service is available with f128 now if you want to go with f2 f4 along with power bi you have to purchase separate power bi pro or power bi premium per user license separately then go with fabric skus if you're not satisfied with premium per capacity because which is very very costly so the sku option is available from the azure portal so we have seen that option and we have seen how the pricing varies how the number of cores varies which will help you to process the data fast now coming down to the components of the fabric so we would be covering components which are basically used by or frequently used by power bi developers so there are ideally there are six different components which are frequently used by power bi developers in terms of fabric power bi i mean itself the power bi is core of fabric without which the fabric is of not not a specific use case but yeah i mean the power bi comes with the reporting perspective fabric includes data factory which is used for etl and pipelines now you can correlate it with the azure data factory fabric also comes with lake house now in simple terms what do you mean by lake house lake house is nothing but a storage account so we have storage accounts we have azure data lakes which are present in the azure portal so that similar data lakes are also available in the lake house so lake house is nothing but a storage account it can, it's a kind of blob storage or maybe a table storage you can assume it like a storage account where you can create a containers and in, inside that containers where you can create multiple folders it also comes with warehouse so in simple terms what do you mean by warehouse in fabric it is similar like database we have databases in azure portal like sql database azure sql so multiple databases can be created so warehouse is nothing but a database component which is given a name called as warehouse in the fabric now in the fabric with the latest update it also comes with sql database now the big question is what is warehouse and what is sql database one and the same they have come up with two different names warehouse is your complete database as it is if people are getting confused that what do you mean by warehouse they can separately go ahead and create a sql database they have given that option called as sql database also it's a new introduction and there is a component called as notebook now notebook is nothing but your you can compare it with your data bricks uh, we have azure data bricks which is present in cloud so you can it, it's somewhere similar to that so we can create delta tables it is used for PySpark usage where you can create a cluster and you can write your queries to process your data in the notebooks to run the that specific delta tables or delta logics so these are the core six components which are frequently used by power bi developers now fabric also has multiple data engineering components multiple the data science or ml models also which are embedded in it but we are not going to cover all these components we are mostly focusing on the power bi point of perspective so all these components are used by day to day basis by power bi developers which will give you a high level insights that these components are somewhere the naming convention would confuse you but it is one and the same if you want to compare with lake house it is nothing but a storage account if you want to understand warehouse it is nothing but a database and they have also and the fabric was also introduced with the sql database now coming down to fabric many people might have seen the latest update in fabric so once you log into the dot i mean from the power bi service only we can activate we can use this fabric so the fabric if you want to use it earlier we had an option so if you want to move to the power bi you can directly switch to power bi and from power bi you want to move to fabric we had an option here so once you click on the fabric it used to give you this kind of view it was the fabric older view where we had multiple components of fabric present in it with the help of their key icons now with the latest update all these icons are vanished i mean you won't see any icons 
now the big question is how fabric architecture works inside the the power bi or the service portal the fabric portal so fabric if you want to create anything inside the power bi portal or a fabric portal the most important part is you need to create your workspace without workspace you cannot create any component now what all components we have discussed from the power bi point of perspective even if you want to create any of these components now one who are familiar with power bi they already know what is the importance of workspace if you want to publish any report without workspace you cannot publish a report similarly if you want to create a data factory which is a component in fabric you want to create a lake house warehouse might be a notebook might be your ai ml model so any components which you want to create in fabric it has to be created inside certain workspace so workspace will be the highest level of hierarchy which is present in the fabric now coming down to hierarchy we have hierarchy in cloud right we have subscription we have resource group and we have multiple resources under each resource group similarly the workspace is the highest level of component which is present in the fabric so if you see towards left corner you have few icons you can click on the workspace um, for me i would be getting all these workspaces if you have activated your fabric fabric also comes with free trial it will give you 60 days of free trial it won't charge you anything what you create inside that 60 days of trial but post which you need to go with either premium per capacity which includes power bi as well as the fabric it can be a costly purpose i mean it it, it is a very costly if you feel it then you can go with the fabric sqs where you have to go with f22 f2048 that all process varies depending on your usage depending on your capacity units now again going back to the fabric you have to create a new workspace under i mean maybe the workspace is the first or prior component which you have to create so if i try to create any workspace let's create ksr workspace right so it will first validate whether this workspace is present or not right so this workspace is available now if i click on apply so the workspace would be created now once the workspace is created depending on your license the icons would be visible here diamond icon will suggest it's a premium per user if you have some this icon along with this this is a fa fabric trial workspace license that means you are eligible to use all the fabric components now under this workspace if you want to get these icons which were available in the older view similarly if you want to create any fabric component you have to create a workspace then you can click on the new item you will get list of all the items which are present in the fabric so you can go ahead and create so many options i mean we have so many options present in the fabric you can go ahead and create any of the services which you are looking out for so basically these six components are frequently used by power bi developers most of these components are used on day to day basis if any of the project is completely running on the fabric now there are organizations who are moving out from the azure portal if they feel that azure portal is somewhere costlier maybe they cannot manage all the services separately they are moving from azure to fabric also fabric is an option which is available and i'll not say that it is the best option going further fabric will get many updates it will improve a lot but for now the fabric from the power bi point of view these six components are very important and you need to understand it so in further videos we would be discussing what exactly the data factory is how these data factories will help us to create etl or pipelines what is lake house how to create it what is warehouse how to create it so we would be going through each and every component in detail thank you Thank you.